Welcome to day 45 of my 100 days of Firefly journey. Today we're gonna go over how you can export your spline code onto Webflow and use game controls to move your subject across the environment. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. So you can add objects, you can add letters. Here I have level flow added and then you can just interact with it using game controls. So game controls is something that Spline offers that you can't find on any other library. So it's very, very interesting to use. And uh, the use cases are endless, the possibilities are endless. So we will just see how we can set it up, you know, on a basic level and see how we can edit it around. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey by turning on that notification bell so you can see these videos on time when I post them. Let's get to work. Okay, so basically what we will build is this. So I've made this page on Webflow, so YAR spline. And then we have this little game. You see, like I have my thumbnails here. I just added them just for fun. I was just testing this out. So I'm not a pro here yet. So I just have like level flow. I can interact with it, like, you know, knock these down. You can drive around uh, this town. Of course, everything here is customizable. So it's just like very very nice way to to build like an environment for your website and then you can have more section like this is Waflow. you can have another section uh, under this and just like continue with your build let's say or, and uh, you can scroll down so you can have this as part of your website you can have like a little game or an interactive thing or you showcase your projects and some sort of like edgar allen type of thing and then you just like continue your website this is done through spline so if you don't know spline spline is a environments like figma but in 3d uh, they have a free plan and they have a paid plan just like figma and uh, you can go here so once you make your plan you just go log in sign up and do, do the whole thing you can come here you can go to like library and uh, there are these environments so you, if you go to environment you can see this mini vespa game so this is the one i was just using on the website this is the one i just changed the 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 car it was it was a vespa here and the original one here i made the car and then i was testing around changing pictures um, adding that level flow text interactive so the, the idea here is that you have game control so you can click on the object and you get go to events and have game control so game control allows you to control like a game uh, so this is something that is very useful to uh, and new to webflow so this is something that you can use so here i can like control the game and this is the default one and uh, you see you see how it is and then once you once you customize you do the whole thing you can you have it in layers as well i mean there's a lot to spline itself i'm not gonna teach you spline now but once you customize you're done you can go to export you can go to viewer and you can copy this code which which you will paste so first here you're gonna paste part so you, if you when you copy the code it comes in two parts so there's the URL, make sure it's the URL that is defined. Now here it says undefined, probably it was loading and I copied it too fast. Now if you copy it, you see like the URL is there. So you paste the URL and then this top part is the CDN. So you just paste that in the, in the top page. So I'm not gonna save this. You paste that in the page settings and and the before closing body tag so here's where you paste that top part of the of the cdn and then you publish so this html embed is where the game or the, the environment will appear so if i refresh this this is what will appear yeah this is the game i set up so so yeah and then i scroll and then it continues so this is basically spline there's a lot of stuff here there's also a community where people share their own uh, 3d elements 3d 
trials and errors and you can copy around you can mix and match make something cool for your website make something cool for yourself test and learn more about spline spline is very very interesting when it comes to 3d it's like as i said it's like the figma of 3d so that's it that's the video for today thank you for watching this video i hope i taught you something today Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Fafla journey by turning on that notification bell so you can see these videos on time. See you tomorrow in day 46.